Hello, everybody. This is Caitlin from Art Bodega, going to teach another canvas Wonderful. class. Wonderful. Wonderful Nomi Christmas canvas class. Ooh, there he is. Super cute painting. Um, I'm going to be teaching step by step how to do that. And then um, you can buy a kit online. You can go to store with artofbodega.com and buy a kit. Um, and then you can come back and watch this video. Um, I did have a couple people sign up and buy a kit ahead of time. So if that's you, you can follow along. I will probably paint much, 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 much faster than you, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, because again, we will post this and it will be available for you to watch. So again, storeartofbodega.com. We are selling kits of this. If you want to paint him, you can get the friends together, get some wine or like Zoom get together um, and all have like an online virtual paint class. And then you just watch our little video. Woo, that's fun. Okay, so we're gonna jump right in because um, we got quite a few people in. I am going to start with a big, big brush. And what am I gonna do here? Hmm, let's start with, um, okay, so everyone should have these colors. Whoop, whoop, there we go, I did it. Um, so uh, if you bought a kit, so you should have colors. So we're gonna start with um, this, the background. It has like these tufts of blue. So we're gonna start with that. Um, and we're gonna mix a lot of white with a little bit of our blue, because I don't want it to be too blue. And I'm just gonna start, let's get my phone out of the way. Put that over there. And when I paint, I like to paint, or I got really close to the camera there. Um, I like to paint with, there we go. <laughs> it's just really close to me. Getting a lot of double chin action. It's not attractive at all. Um, <laughs> oh no, it still matters. <laughs> it still matters. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna add these like blue tufts to the background here. Um, get the sky going. And then this is a mix of a blue and white. And this is actually, ultramarine blue for those who want to maybe have their own supplies and want to paint along. That is the color I'm okay. using. Um, they don't sell it anymore, so I wasn't going to talk oh, about no. that. What kind of paint? Is this watercolors? Oh, or? It's acrylic paints. <laughs> don't act like you don't know. You could just say it's acrylic paints and I have to do the whole like, oh, what kind of paint is it, Caitlin? You work here too. You know. Yeah, we're just gonna paint this blue. And I'm not gonna paint it all blue. I'm just gonna, cause we have like kind of mountains going on here. Woo. So like, so that's blue here and blue here and maybe a little blue here. So I'm not going to paint the whole thing cause um, if it's easier for you to paint the whole thing because it makes sense, um, that is fine. I'm just not going to because I don't want to wait for a lot of drying time because having you guys watch paint dry sounds horrible. <laughs> I mean, like, come on, that can't be fun. So I'm going to just do my best. We're all just doing our best. Let me get all these out of my There we go. I have more access to my water. Oh, blue, blue, blue. And I don't use a lot of paint here. It's just, it's the more like a dry brush technique, which is <clears throat> when you just don't put like a ton of paint on the brush and then kind of brush it out and all that, so. And down here in this corner. You're gonna need a lot of white for this. Whoa fling and paint it myself. Um, you're gonna need a lot of white. Now you, you can you can also use just like a little bit of water to get the paint to move if it's kind of thick. But not a lot of paint or water because it will drip. We don't want that. Unless you're painting flat like me and then it won't drip. Doesn't have anywhere to go. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Gravity. 
Look, we're learning science too. Art and science? Art and science. Isn't that crazy? So, um, if you have any questions while we're painting along, please let me know. Or just want to talk to me and have questions for me about how great I am as an artist. Or, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just kidding. Wow. Uh, Ego? I'm just kidding. Just, just to talk. I just, maybe if I'm like sassy like that, people will talk to me. Yeah. Well, people who know me know that I'm already sassy. For sure. Yeah, that's true. Very sassy. Okay, so there's my blue. Looks great, right? We're done. All right, everyone go home. <laughs> oh, wait, everyone is home. Set me. All right, so then I am going to clean my brush off. Let that sit. What am I do next? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to do the trees next. So I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller brush like this, but you can use whatever is available to you. Um, so we kind of got like these hills going here um, where trees are going to go. So we have some trees that go up like this and then trees that go down like this. Um, and I'm going to, I have two greens. I have a like primary green. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, primary green and like a thallow green. Why is Luke Comney? He's supposed to be at the grocery store. I don't know. <laughs> Happy treat. And all we're going to do for the use is kind of mix between two of the greens. And we're just going to draw like little sticks. And like that. We're just going to draw sticks up and down. And then we're going to take our brush and we're going to do kind of like a... Um, a stippling action, which is dotting. And we're going to just make back and forth, make pine trees. Look at that. It's like magic. We're Bob Ross in it, guys. We are Bob Ross in it. I'm going to do it again. So just kind of do a back and forth. And then as you go up the tree, make it smaller. So it's a pine tree. Whoa. Come on. Look at, it looks like magic on the Even canvas. I could do this. You could. Anyone could do this. This is what we call the Bob Ross in it. Tap, tap, tap. I need like a squirrel friend. <laughs> Look at those, those trees. Come on. Everyone likes watching Bob Ross. I'm not a napkin. <laughs> Sorry. I was holding your thing. So it's it okay. Make that noise. It can make that and keep doing it. Do, 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 do. It's getting a little wild here. It's all right. It still is going to look great. Look at that. Wow. Wow. So I'm just going like this with my brush back and forth, letting there be big gaps so you can see, like when it gets kind of close, so that you can see that it's not like, you know, it's not like, whoa, it's way better from far away. <laughs> um, Tons. Good thing we don't look at art. Yeah, we don't look at art. If anyone's like, oh my God, like look at those trees, just be like, go away. It this is meant to be viewed from afar. So anyway, we are going to go in with our green um and do the trees that go down. So there's like a big one right here, and then another one, and a little another one. And a little one, and then a little one, and a little one. All right. So remember, our gnome is going to go like right here. So we don't really have to worry about anything over here. And if your paint's kind of blending, you can even take just like the tiniest bit of black um, and mix in with your green to make a little bit of a darker green. And do the same thing. Happy little trees. It's okay if they touch. This one's very skinny. 
Now we're gonna just keep making our trees. I'm doing again a mix of like the greens and then I'm actually taking a little bit of black so that um, I can have a little bit of a darker green because these ones you can see from here, you can see this side is much darker than this side. And I, I ooh, ooh, not too much black though. Not like what I just did. Um, so I just want them to be a little bit darker because then I'm going to go back and put <clears throat> snow on them. And also it's kind of blending with the background because again, I'm not waiting for anything to dry, but neither did Bob Ross. He just kind of like went for it. So I'm really channeling my inner Bob Ross. I feel like I need like a wig. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not giving old Bob what he deserves here. Um, Next time I'll bring Hannibal and dress him up like a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Kona. Kona and Hannibal. Maybe. Uh, so again, we're just stippling, stippling up. I'm letting my brush kind of get all wonky. That's okay. Because guess what? Trees are kind of wonky. Everyone always gets caught up in doing trees here. Like they're like, oh, look at this branch. It's, it's curved. I'm like, branches are curved. Have you ever looked at a tree? I literally said that to a customer the other day. Yeah, did you? I said, have you ever seen a tree? <laughs> did she say no? Well, she was she was giving me a hard time the whole time, so I felt okay. You guys were being feisty. We were being feisty towards each other. I love the feisty customers. <laughs> right up your alley. Yep. I get to be feisty back. So yeah, look at our trees starting to form on our canvas. Isn't that nice? What? Um, I'm then gonna go back once I've finished this last tree over here. I'm gonna go back over my first ones and add a little bit of darkness to them because they're a little light for me and I'm not like really loving it. This is the first time I've ever painted this painting, so I'm kind of leaning it. Our artist Jack made it the first time, so. You don't like the sound, do you? I don't. So I'm just adding a little bit of darkness into these trees so that um, they kind of match the other ones. I just want them a little darker. Perfect. So there's my trees. You can go back in and add a little more where you think it needs it, fill in little gaps, but I wouldn't overwork these trees. They're meant to be wonky. <laughs> See-through. See-through, painterly. <laughs> painterly, <laughs> I think that's a word. I think it's a word. Painterly is totally a word. Yeah. Who has a Webster's Dictionary? Look up the word painterly, what it means. I don't know. I'm busy. Okay. We're done. Yay, trees. Done with trees. Um, so our next step is to um, make, we're gonna want this to dry for sure. Um, but I'm not going to. Do you want me to dry it for you? No, I feel like that's going to be really annoying. I can dry it real quick. It's um, mm, it might even it might even get over here because we have. Oh yeah! I got her all set up. All right. Excuse the loud noise for a minute. I need like the heat guns. I know, I know all I'm saying is we need them. Are we having fun yet? We only really need the bottom of the trees to be dry. 
So if you're like me and have no patience, it's just the bottom. bleeds it bleeds okay but you want to wait for yours to drive i'm just impatient i can't do that forever okay so then i'm going to take my white again and i'm going to kind of like make a make a hill here so it's going to make the trees look like they're sitting on a hill and kind of just dry brush that snow in i don't take a lot of paint just to make it look like it's they're sitting on a hill and we're going to do the same one to these ones. Whoop. There's my green. I have green snow. What does that mean? <laughs> it's better than yellow. I don't know what green snow would mean. Well, anyway, wait for yours to dry. Don't be me. But you can see it makes it look like they're, like, sitting on, like, a snow drift hill. Ooh, pretty. What? <laughs> uh, I can't get rid of the green. So the green lives there. You can't even see it. I only can see it. You're fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Look. Snowdrifts. Hills. We're killing it. Okay. Um, our next step is going to be our gnome. He's kind of sitting on his own little hill, so I'm going to make another one right here. This is like an up-close hill. Everyone's really quiet. I know, not one person has said anything except for Luke. <laughs> and Stephanie said cute. It's because I talk too much, and they're yeah. so, they're just so entertained by laughing. All my quips. Maybe if we gave like a million dollars away, if they to the, okay. Do someone. you do you have a million dollars? No, I'm just like oh, so just lie. <laughs> People we'll love give a gift away. If People you love more that. Than four times during the class, yeah, then everyone would comment. I want it to be genuine, but maybe if they started commenting, they would feel genuine. I don't know. It's okay. I'm not offended anymore. You're not? No. Nope. I'll just talk to myself like a crazy person. That's why I need you here, so I don't feel like a crazy person. Okay. All right. So, trees, drifts, mountains. We've done it. <sighs> okay. Gnome time. So, here we go. Gnome. Wait, he's on the side. Gnome. This is what we're making. You can make his hat as crazy and wild as you want. Um, it can be blue or like a little curly or whatever you want. I'm going to, I think I'm going to change mine up. All right. So you're going to take your red paint. I'm giving it, well, anyone who buy, buys a kit, you're going to get all these colors and you're going to take red. Um, and we're going to, we want to kind of visualize where he's going to sit. So like his little body is going to be about here. We don't want it to be like huge because it's just a beard and a nose and hands because he's going like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to start by making, this is like the brim of his little hat. And I'm actually going to mix a little white and this is going to make it um, a little pinkish, orangish color. But um, since we're going over such a dark color, you want to do that. Um, if you don't, you're going to see like the trees and stuff through it. And then if you want, after it dries, you want to go and make, um, make it more red, then you can do that. But I always like to add white. There you go. Gnome's hats. Ooh. Did you get some green, did you? Yep, I'm getting green, but don't worry. You won't even see it. We're done. 
So again, wait for your background to dry. Don't be Caitlin. Vicky's from Alabama. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Thanks for commenting. So I'm just going to fill in the hat. I'm going to fill in the hat. It's going to be great. It's going to have some green in it. But this is Christmas, so... Red and green. <laughs> oh, right. I meant to do that. Untrue. So you can kind of see right here what I'm talking about, how you can kind of see the darkness of the trees through it, and that's totally okay. Um, do not, do not, do not, do not cake on your paint until you can't see it anymore. Instead, be patient. <laughs> do, <laughs> did you just spit all over your spit everywhere. Um, um, do as I say, not as I do. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, be patient. Even I won't do this because um, the thicker you put it on, the longer it takes to dry. And then it actually can, like, be really difficult to work with. And acrylics are usually pretty easygoing. But um, <laughs> Jack made the joke, too, that I'm not patient. Oh, he did. Oh, and he's the most patient. Yeah, Jack is not patient. Uh, Jack and I are the least, in pa or least patient people in the studio. And that's that is for sure. That's all right. Perfectionists and impatient. I don't even know if we're perfectionist. Perfectionists, we're just like, let's get it done as fast as humanly possible. We don't, ain't nobody got time for that. That's why. He, that's why we're bad with ceramics. Three coats. Hey, congratulations to Jack. Jack yeah. just got engaged. Aw, it's so fun. I don't mean to complain, but <laughs> what? <laughs> Only Jack will get that. Oh. And Luke. Oh. All right. So we got our hat. Our hat. That's all I'm going to say at his wedding is, I don't mean to complain, but, <laughs> and then just complain about everything. <laughs> Who did that? Me. Oh. Yeah. It was a whole night. Oh. Okay. We went to Sullivan's. Oh. No. Oliver's. Oliver's. In the Heights. And like the table was really wobbly. Oh, you told me about this. And then just everything went wrong after that. <laughs> and then I was like, I don't mean to complain, but there's there's lipstick on my wine glass. I don't mean to complain. <laughs> I don't mean to complain, but this table is really wobbly. I don't mean to complain. And then John was my favorite. He like dips his finger in like salt and like like he's like, oh, that's salty. I'm like, oh my god, the salt is so salty. <laughs> I don't mean to complain. I don't mean to complain, but the salt is so salty. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's fun. Fun times. Okay. Good times. We are moving on. That's the night that you didn't. That was the my bridal shower. I know what happened. I you didn't want to. Good. You just oh, no, like, I didn't want to go. Oh, you didn't want to go out because um, we were gonna go to the Mexican food place, and then we ended up going to the studio for a bit. Yeah. And you were like, nah. That's okay. Oh, that's not what I want. I'm talking. And getting distracted. Okay. Um, we're going to go in with white and black. So I'm using, I guess I forgot to say this the first time. Um, but I'm using like a smaller brush to do this stuff. But I'm going to use white and black. Not a ton of black because black is a little overwhelm. Um, and we're going to make a little beard. Little beard. And we're going to let those like streaks of gray and white be there. Be there. Let them be there. Um, I think I'm gonna get Luke to like make some, play some music in the background of his dreams. I could probably put some. Like, what what can you play? Like, oh, I'm gonna have good. him like make up songs. Uh, <laughs> great. <laughs> Come on, that'll be so. You know how he is. He'll just be an idiot the whole time. <laughs> It'll be great. People will love it. We need like elevator music. I mean, I probably could find some like no. Beethoven or something. We'll have to can't... like we'll have to like test it and see what they say. Facebook, you know. Yeah, Facebook will shut us down. Yeah, shut we, us down if we play music. 
Oh no, green again. <laughs> can't get away from it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Look at it. Oh, it got me on a train in the middle of his face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That was what I was going for. Yeah. Yeah. Right. anyone see our um, amazing Schitt's Creek ornaments that we're doing? Oh, yeah, they're super cute. Where's the sweater one? I think uh, it's on the front desk, actually. I think it's on the counter. Yeah. You guys have got to see these if you haven't seen them because Schitt's Creek is literally my favorite right now. I'm actually starting it over right now. I lo I've started it over like six times. Look at it. Ooh, David. <laughs> Oh, uh, and it's on a little sweater. <laughs> Come on. I'm actually watching the episode where he takes his clothes to the thrift store. <laughs> he's like, you don't deserve it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And yeah. Like, so those are $50. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, those are for sale in our store. There's like three different designs that you can do. There's a circle, a square. And then my favorite is the sweater. Ew. And we'll custom make them. And they are. They're handmade. So I paint them. I paint them. So as you can see. It's perfect for this year on your tree. Everybody needs one. I think it's perfect for every year. Everybody needs one on their tree this year. Yes, for sure. All right. I guess I should have done our shoes first, but that's okay. We'll do a shoes now. So then I'm going to just rinse off my brush. Um, <laughs> uh, and use black and I'm gonna put, can you even see the shoes? Uh, it's me, not really. There we go. Here. Mm, ooh. ooh, there we go. All right. I couldn't, I didn't know if it had this on oh, there. Oh yeah, that's annoying. You can't uh, see that. It's okay. I moved it. Did you see my earthquake that happened? Okay. So now I'm going to do shoes and we're going to do like little, little like elf shoes. Is that what they're called? Are they pointy? They're like the curl, like, no, like elf shoes. Like literally oh, yeah. what, like elf so wears. Pointy. Yeah, but they go up. Yeah, Ooh. pointy. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I love that show so much. Baby. <laughs> oh, my God. Hannah does the... Best Moira impression. Does she? She does. She sounds just like her. It's so funny. Oh my gosh. We have so much fun here. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Yeah, I'm watching the episode where there he uh first sees the sign <laughs> and he's trying to get <laughs> how does anyone know that that's his sister? <laughs> And then he puts a sign. It's his sister. That'll help. Oh, yeah. All right. So this little shoe. I'm sorry. I'm not even talking to you guys anymore. <laughs> uh, so this shoe is like facing forward. So it's just like a little. Looks like almost like a. Yeah. And he's got like. He's like doing a little ballet pose there with that. This one's like. He's, he's, he's like doing first position mm. with this one. And then. First position. I don't even know what that means. Ballet, then I'm going to take a little white and kind of make it look like a shoe. And so you can't even see that. That's all right. Trust me. Add a little bit of white. I can't feel the shoe too. White. See? Nope. Nope. There we go. A little bit of white right there. So like, you can, maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take some more white and just kind of go back over with my beard since I should have done the shoes first and didn't. So they're not above my beard. So that doesn't make any sense. Shoes first. Beard second. Yeah, that's okay. You can do it. See, it's successful this way too. Okay, then we're gonna rinse off our brush. Man, we're almost done. 
Um, and I'm going to take my skin color and a little bit of white. And again, you should wait for this to dry. And I'm not going to. Um, and make his little nose. That is now gray and pink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> You know, canvas classes in studio, like we take like drying breaks for a reason. This is our reason. Um, and then I'm gonna take a little red and I'm gonna make his little, his little mittens that are also going to turn gray. But it's okay. It's okay. Better. All right, those are too small. Now his hands are bigger than his feet. Um, maybe, you know what, don't judge him. Maybe he, uh... They're, they're mittens. Mittens make your hands look big. You know? Mm-hmm. They do. Um, okay. Mitten hands. Whoop, he's going like this. All right. How's this? I'm attacking. Okay, we're going to move back on to our trees. So I'm going to take the same brush we were doing with our trees is this, this doodly guy right here. Um, and I'm going to take white. What? Nothing. My white's a mess. You've got so many colors in your white, you can't even get to it. That's all right. I don't need to get that much. And I'm going to do the same like stippling thing, but um, with white to get um, snow. Just a little bit. You're not gonna overwhelm it. Uh, just a, just a tad. Just a tad of. Just a touch. This is what we wait for our hat to dry. Oh, well, now there's snowy trees. If you add too much white, you can always um, go back in this. Green. And that'll be great. Snowy trees with a gnome. Don't laugh. It's fine. funny though because people always like do this to their paint <clears throat> and then they're like I need more white I'm like oh no just like <laughs> scoop it off there's plenty of good white over there all right now we got snowy trees well actually let's do a little bit more on this one okay snowy trees um now we're going to go back to our hat. Hopefully yours is dried. Mine's pretty dry since we did the beard and shoes and mittens and all that stuff. And I'm going to do another coat of paint um, to get rid of some of that like see-through bit right here. I don't love that. So I'm just going to add more. And that should uh, get rid of it. But don't do it. While it's wet. Because it won't work. Because it won't work. It'll just do the same thing and then you have to wait even longer. And you know, nobody got time for that. So yeah, I'm just going over these little darker bits with uh, red. So now his hat looks a lot more not see-through. See -through. Less see-through. Opaque, that's the word. Opaque instead of see through look at how cute he is though come on come on um and then you can decorate his ha hat however you want you can put little dots on it i'm not going to because my paint's wet i'd wait for your paint to dry before you do it who's breaking in um 
yeah so i would just i mean if you want to use dots you can use like the back of a paintbrush or like a racer or something like that um to do that little detail stuff um you can add like a little bit of white to his hat um you don't have to worry about it blending because you kind of want it to blend so just to give like a little definition to the brim there and i'm just adding the smallest little bit of white it's a little bit on his hat just to if you add too much you can always go over with red yeah so there's our little guy his little mittens um i would again i would go over this one more time and the mittens one more time but i think you get the gist of the painting um because it's just wet so um he just needs a little you know another coat it needs another coat but i'm not gonna make you wait um but i am going to take um a little brush so like a little tiny whatever tiny brush you can find and i'm just gonna add a few little black outlines like on the sample here um, this is completely optional some people choose not to do it because they're worried that it's going to ruin their painting. That is completely fine. I think he works well without it, but I'm just going to show you how to do it so that you know how to do it. Um, so yeah, you're just going to take, you just don't push very hard on your brush. Just push really lightly and don't overthink it too much. Um, and that's how you get the little outlines on him. And you can outline his little mittens. Um, there's like a, yeah, he has like a, like a little thing there and there. And yeah, no, I think he, yeah, he has one a little under his nose too, but um, you can add those, you cannot add those. I think it looks absolutely fine without it. I think it looks fine with it. It's just completely up to you. Um, you can go back in and add more white to the beard if you want to brighten it up. Um, that is another thing that you could do, but they're all going to look very different. And that's okay. So that's a little bit more white there. You can see that that brightens it up quite a bit. Um, so there's just a couple different variations of this. But this is your painting, so you can do whatever you want to it. So again... If you're like, hey, I want to do this painting. It's really cute. I really like it. Um, but you didn't know that we were doing this tonight and you just saw it or whatever. Um, this video will be posted and you can go on to storeartofbodega.com and buy a kit for this. I did put that on. We'll post, a, we'll post a link in the comments or somewhere on it on this uh, video. Um, so that you can go and buy your very own little gnome kit and then you can come back onto our Facebook page and watch our video again. They're like, oh God, I don't want to watch that again. <laughs> All they did was talk about Shit's Creek. Um, so yeah, uh, the last little thing um, we put on pretty much every single one of our paintings <laughs> is glitter. Um, so you can get like a Mod Podge glitter uh, we give it in the kit that we do, hopefully, I remembered. Um, but you can do a Mod Podge glitter and just kind of apply that anywhere you want. Uh, we did it in the snow. Um, I don't think that Sorry. you will, you can see it too much. Let's see if I can show it in this picture. Can you kind of see? You can kind of see the glitter, but not, not a lot. What's this crazy lady swinging this bottle of Mod Podge over there? There, you did it. You even turned it the right way. <laughs> there we go. Um, so, yeah, you can apply that wherever. We put it in the snow in the sky, and you can just put it wherever you want. Um, but this is our painting, and I hope you had a great time listening to me be annoying for 39 minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, thanks, guys. We'll be hopefully, hopefully doing another one. Not next week, probably. Probably not before Christmas, but we'll be doing more of these after the new year. Um, we're going to be closing for a bit for um, 
inventory and- inventory and stuff like that like we do every year so uh we'll cl- we're gonna close for about a week and get our heads back on straight because we need that yeah everyone needs a little bit of a break so uh, but again, if you need to buy a kit or want to buy a kit, store at thebodega.com. You can buy a kit of this um, for only $25, and it comes with everything you need, um, except for brushes. So but we do have brushes. Yeah. We have, yeah, we'll have, we have brushes if you need them, but we just don't have really big ones for canvas. So you will have to go buy can- uh, canvas brushes that are big. Um, but it comes with paint, canvas, everything else. Okay. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.